the beautiful end of the day. Finally some spring. And it's Good Friday too. But you know what? Nowhere is it written that Good Friday, when some people fast and cut back on what they're eating, has to be like so little that we can enjoy a little bit of what we're eating. And that's what we're going to do on today's episode of Migo de the North Country Latino, is enjoy what we're eating as we're cutting back a little bit today. Now we're going to make paella de pescado y la crema, which for those of you who don't speak Spanish, individual fish tarts. It's a Mexican recipe that is basically like tiny little pot pies, if you will, with fish in them instead of the beef or the chicken that we're used to in pot pies. And of course, what do we start with? Some water. Water into the pot, about two cups worth. Now, I'm cutting this recipe in half of what it originally is because then I'd have more pies than I can afford to eat. But, or could eat with my family and I sensibly, that's what I mean. Two cups of water in to the pot, and then you put on four cups of milk. Of course, I use skim milk, you know how it is. The less fat, the better. And then you have some stalks of celery you got cut up. This is all going to flavorize your fish. You put those in. One more. Even have the leaves on some of them. You leave the leaves on because this is celery you're not even going to eat. This is for flavoring. And then you take an onion, you have it. And then you have it. Get it? I have the halves. Anyway, sorry, enough of the bad humor. And you put all that in your pot. And then you add a little bit of shake of pepper. Okay, you can do whole peppercorns if you want, but just some shakes of pepper do you good enough. Shake it around. Now like salt so you can, you know, be a little more festive with your pepper. And then you add, of course, the fish. Now, you can be crazy with your fish and put all kinds of fish tails and heads and stuff in there and really flavorize it, but I don't choose to do that. So, you take any kind of good cut fish, you can use catfish, I use tilapia, it's really awesome stuff. Any good whiting fish, about, oh, this is a pound and a half, and you're going to boil that in the mix. I gotta get something to beat this down with or else it's gonna stick up there and not boil. So, make sure you stir your pot around, give yourself some room to get that fish going. So here's your pot, folks. And I'm gonna turn that on to get that nice and hot and boiling. And you let it boil for a while. And that's pretty much the first step towards Hey, it's Mikado in the crema! Now over here I have a smaller pot and I spray it with some good old fat free nonstick cooking spray and turn on the heat about medium. Okay. Get that going. And to this pot I'm gonna add some chopped. This is a actually com combination of leeks and green onions. They're almost the same, but I like combining them. You put those in. And you have some chopped celery, not to get confused with the stock celery you put in the other pot. Some chopped celery and some chopped carrots. These are going to be part of your veggies that go in the pies, okay? And you're going to stir them around, get them nice and hot and coated so it's like sautéing, you know? And you let these veggies kind of stir fry a bit, if you will, for a good five minutes or so. Spray on a little more of the stuff if you need. The cooking spray gives it a little more, like, for sauteing. Of course, you're watching your other pot, too, and that's starting to get hot. But once that boils, you really just boil the fish until it's getting done. Okay, it costs like a half hour in it, but that's if, that's if you're using a double the recipe. Just make sure the fish is white and done. Then after those veggies are soft, you're going to take about a half a cup of good old Lavinia. Tell me something, is Lavinia by Goya anymore? Because they used to have Goya on the label, but I don't see it these days. 
And it's going to be like a reduction, you know, that fancy stuff they do in fancy restaurants, okay? You're going to let that simmer for a bit until it's reduced down, okay? Yeah, because cooking wine has a funny way of doing that. So just let it go. Give it as much time as it needs. Okay, so once the wine is all but almost evaporating, almost, I didn't say all, <laughs> okay. Anyways, you put in about two good tablespoons of flour. And of course, I use organic whole wheat flour. And you stir around, and you know, you're gonna get this probably quicker using whole wheat flour than you would regular flour. To make it brown, it has to be brown. Well, using whole wheat flour, you've got the brown already cleansed. So, anyways, you don't want it to burn out. You just make this nice, kind of dry, brownish concoction of your veggies and the wine that was left. And then, well, of course, the other pot is getting nice and scalding. The way it's supposed to. And then you turn your heat off there and bring this off of the heat. Okay, so your vegetables are coated with the flour. You just continue stirring. Everything's nice and hot. And then to it, you add a few more things here. Because you're off of the heat now, and you slowly add some milk. Just about half a cup of milk that's been let to go to like room temperature. This is all off heat now, mind you. So it's not like you're going to scald this. Stir it around, gives it a little more moisture to the texture. Makes it a sauce, you know? And while you're adding things, a quarter of a cup of fat-free half and half. Mixes it in, gives it a little more creamier. And then you're going to add a teaspoon of tarragon. Don't do much cooking with tarragon, but today's the day. And then also a tablespoon of parsley. And you mix that more into your sauce. Mix for a nice sauce to go along with things. A few more shakes of pepper. Never hurt anybody. Just don't want to make yourself sneeze, you know? This is really thick. It's going to be great. One more little magic ingredient to this um, sauce, excuse me, not cream, it's all part of it, is about a half a cup of the stock from your boiling fish. Now you've got an awesome sauce to go into this. And you do return it to the heat just a little bit more so it can thicken slightly once again but not for long nothing crazy now for the dough you take one of those roll out pie crust things and don't worry if it cracks you can use a rolling pin to restore it take a large can and cut out your shell and put it in a treated muffin pan you're gonna fill that okay and then you take a biscuit cutter that's smaller that's gonna be your top and you do that for us how many is what you need. And of course your fish is done, so you flake it up really good. You take a good spoonful of your fish and you put it in your shell. And you can shape it around so there's no cracks in the bottom. And then you get a good heaping spoonful of the sauce and put it over the top. And then of course you put the top on top. And that's one tart. And then of course you make as many as what you got. And look at that! About 30 minutes on 425 degrees later, and they're done, baby. Time to eat. Bite is biscotti la crema. And if you're not in the fasting religion, you can have as many as you want. And of course, if you are, make this your one full meal of the day. And it can still be good. Yum, 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 yum. And this is Miguel Tierra, the North Country Latino, saying, I hope wish all of you a happy holy weekend. Tomorrow, Sabado Santo. And then Pasqua, on Sunday, back to South of Malinga, reggaeton and everything Latin under the sun. This is Moves Like Cristiano, by the way. Anyway, Anyway, to our Jewish friends out there, a beautiful and rest of your Passover. To everybody, Pai de Pescado de la Crema. Ay, que ricos. Me quedo tío de North Country Latino. Adios. Feliz Pascuas. Feliz Passover.